Okay, so uh, good morning everyone. This is my response to Diana Bryant's paper, Autonomy, Transnational Literacies and Planetarity, Emergent Cultural Imaginaries of Research Engagement. Uh, well, first of all, uh, there is a, a sentence I'd like to quote from her paper uh, that uh, uh, made me think about. So she says that uh, she, she will argue uh, that how communities imagine the spaces open to their agency is crucial in shaping the futures we can devise. Uh, that got me thinking, yes, the spaces open to agency. Um, so, my point uh, here will be connecting space for agency with vocation. I intend to take a vocation from the status of a word to the status of an analytical category. Uh, when we talked about the Valkyrie's text yesterday, the concept of vocation was brought up. Right? Um, I think that uh, that has everything to do with this statement. Teaching functions uh, in, a, in a space that allows for agency in, in as much as vocation and mission is concerned. It has become a concept that allows room for professional evaluation, uh, the, the idea of vocation. We discussed that in relation to teaching. Diana reminded us that we, we have also the gender factor. I have brought this up again because I see it as a productive concept to reflect upon how uh, our society, from the neoliberal perspective, has applied it, the idea of uh, vocation, uh, to repress professional demands, workers' demands for better salaries and uh, working conditions. here, for example, of the medical doctor situations. I see these professionals today in Brazil undergoing the same process that teachers went through in the, early, the late 60s, early 70s in Brazil. I remember they were high middle class workers. Today teachers are, most of them, low class as a whole. The same is happening to medical doctors today. They seem to be seen as missionaries that are supposed to work hard despite bad salaries and bad working conditions. So who's next? Lawyers, engineers? Uh, so this is the context in which I would like to pose a point for Diana to speak about. Uh, do you agree with the fact that the concept of vocation can be productive for reflections on the post-colonial studies? What can you say about that considering room for agency and uh, autonomy and gender? And last but not least, education and educators. So uh, this is the question uh, I prepared. Thank you. Thanks very much. <laughs>